So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your environment for AngularJS. So as you've probably guessed, the first thing we need to do to set up our environment is to actually acquire AngularJS. So where we're going to get that is through angularjs.org. It's actually AngularJS is maintained by Google. I don't know if you guys knew this. But uh, once we go there, we're going to want to download AngularJS. So we're going to click on this. So this is the page. If you did everything correctly, you should, this is what you should be looking at. We're going to click on download and we'll be presented with this window here. So we're going to leave everything as it is, stable and minified, and we're going to click download. Now, if we did everything right, we should have this angular.min.js. There's a few other ways we can get Angular through Bower or NPM and all that good stuff, but if, you know, we're beginners, so this is probably the easiest way to do it. So now that we have our angular.min.js, and that should be in your downloads folder, I want to go over some development environments because I feel a lot of people skim over these, and I think that they should be addressed, right? If you're just getting into web development after a while, you know, you might want to see what cool web development environments are out there right now. So I typically use WebStorm. It does cost money, but I find the features, it's just a really great development environment. It really makes making web apps a breeze. So WebStorm is a great one, but it does cost money. There is a free 30 day trial. If you don't want WebStorm and you're cheap like me, you could also do Sublime Text. This is completely free and it works really well as well. So those are two development environments. I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of Sublime real quick to get it working the way you might want it. So for Sublime, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new folder. So if I went to, you know, Angular, so Angular Tutorial 2, I'm going to want to create a new folder for my project, whatever that might be. And then I want to make sure that I can view my sidebar. So view sidebar, I'm actually going to make sure view sidebar and then show sidebar. And then we're going to file open folder. And if I did everything correctly, I'm going to actually open up my other one to show you what it would look like. It'll actually show it just like this, right? Folders on the side, and then we can create new folders by right clicking, all that good stuff. I don't want to ramble on too much about Sublime, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to use it. So we're actually going to be using WebStorm for the majority of this project. Um, actually, all of this project. So I'm going to show you how that looks. So here is WebStorm. And now that we've actually gone over our development environment, I want to show you the basic structure of a Angular app. So I want you to create two new folders underneath your main project folder, a JS in WebStorm, you would right click and click new directory, a JS folder and a lib folder. In that lib folder, I want you to make sure that you drag and drop this angular.min.js file from earlier in there, right? So we're going to want to make sure we do that. And if everything was done correctly, you know, you could see it lib. There it is just in our windows. And then our JS folder should have the app.js file in it. So create a new file called app.js and throw that in your JavaScript folder. So if we go back to our file structure, you'll see we have JavaScript app.js in there, lib with our angular.min.js inside there. And then we're going to want to create, lastly, our index.html file. So now that we have our file structure in place, I want your index.html file to look exactly like mine. The reason we're doing that is because we need to actually link those two files into our main page. So you'll notice we link it in here, our Angular file in here, that lib slash angular.min.js, and we're linking our Angular in there. And then we want to link our app.js file as well, so the one we just created. So once that's all said and done, we need to create in our HTML an ng app. So ng app is equal to, and then whatever we want to name our app. So in our case, I named it tutorial app, right? Once we have that name, whatever you named it, if you want to follow along uh, with what I'm doing, you could just name it the same thing. We're going to go to our app and we're going to type this in their app equals angular dot module and then exactly whatever we named our app should be the same thing we name it right here comma and then bracket parentheses so don't worry too much about what that does just yet but that is the basics of our angular you know file structure and our environment setup all right guys i'll see you in the next video